Hey everyone, in this screencast I want to show you how I go about coding the solution to a problem, how I go about testing uh, throughout the coding process to make sure the little sections work, to make sure the whole thing works how I want it to, and when something does inevitably go wrong, how I go about finding what's wrong with my code. The way I'm going to do that is through example by solving Project Euler Problem 28. So Project Euler Problem 28 is to start with the number 1 and move in a clockwise direction to generate a 5x5 five five spiral as we can see here. So the spiral starts at 1 and then goes clockwise 2, 3, 4 and then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 etc. So we start with the number 1 and just spiral outwards. The problem says that if we take the sum of the numbers on the diagonal, so these red numbers here, they should total 101. The question is then, what is the sum of the numbers on the diagonals in a 1001 by 1001 spiral formed in this way? What we need is a way to generate a spiral of arbitrary dimension, and then specifically a 1001 by 1001 spiral, and then take the elements and sum them. So the trickiest part of this is obviously going to be generating a spiral. Okay, so before we start actually coding anything, I want to have an idea of what I'm actually going to do. So this is part of the planning before I code. In this case, what I want to do is try to find some patterns or simplifications for this so that I can begin to formulate a solution to this problem. So if I look at this number spiral, which I've written here so I can scribble on things, there's a couple of things that I noticed that I'd like to point out that I think are going to be important. The first one is for a particular dimension spiral, so say the dimension is equal to n, the largest term will be n squared. Okay, so in this case we have the 5 by 5 spiral and we can see the largest term is 5 squared or 25. The second thing is this term will always occur in a corner. Okay, so 25 occurred um, over here in the top right. If we had a dimension 3 square, well then our square would have been this box here, and the largest term would have been 3 squared in the top right. The other point I want to make is that odd terms which are squared always appear in the top right corner, while even terms which are squared always appear in the bottom left. So not only does n squared always occur in a corner, we also know which corner it will appear in based on whether n is even or odd. So n odd goes to the top right, while n even will be in the bottom left. And I think that will probably be important when we go to actually implement a solution to this. One other thing I'll point out here is that if we start with the number 1, we can generate subsequent squares by adding a row and column to our current square. So if I start with 1, I can then generate the dimension 2 spiral by extending a column and row, and then from this two-dimension spiral, I can extend this to a three-dimension one by adding a column and row, and then starting from a dimension three, I can extend this to a four-dimension by adding a column and a row. I point this out because this is, I think, actually how I'm going to go about solving this problem. Okay, so now that we know some things about the problem, let's go ahead and start actually implementing something. 